Cause I believe in miracles. Where'd you come from, baby? Check this out. So this was the old Loran antenna that was on here. I was gonna take it off anyway. And frankly, it was one of the wires I found that wasn't hooked up for who knows how many years. But well, look at this. This is the new GPS antenna for the 430. And the holes on it fit exactly. Check that out. Is that not a miracle of miracles of miracles? How amazing is that? Yes, something went right on this plane. Maybe one of those cool kids with this whole face tube thing. So smash that like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Another update. So when I first bought the airplane, the oil pressure was kind of weird because when you start it up, it would go to 30 when it was cold. And then as it warmed up, it would get higher and higher and higher until it was fully warmed up and then it would be at 60. So I'm like, that's weird and backwards. So I had two thoughts on that. One is the spring, the oil pressure spring and the check ball just had some gunk on it from the thing sitting so long and it was sticking and it took until the oil warmed up for it to loosen up and go. So what I was gonna do is take the oil pressure uh, relief valve off and find out how many washers and which spring it had and things like that and check the seat of the ball as well. I did find that there was a little bit of um, not prettiness in it. So we're just gonna clean that up and get that reset. And I'm gonna put in a different spring because I found, check that out, seven washers in there and it's only supposed to ever have nine, which anything more than five and we need to relook at some stuff the only other thing which i really hope it's not is the bypass the thermostatic bypass valve which is a massive pain in the butt to get to because it's on the very middle of the back of the engine and we're going to fly it first and see if this fixes it before we dig into that thing one more kind of shoot thing that i came across and i'll show that to you here in a second that I uh, came across here is the left magneto, which is taken out as you can see, because the tag that was on it that showed the part number and serial number disappeared somewhere between when we flew it up uh, where I bought it to down here, the hour flight. It was on there when I left. I've got a picture showing it, but it's not clear enough to pull the numbers off of. And it was gone when we got it here, which really sucks. So that means I got to take it off send it in have them do a 500 hour rebuild on it and that is an extra anywhere between eight and sixteen hundred dollars now i had already planned on upgrading it to the surefly electronic magneto which easily the best upgrade that i did on my other plane and i was planning on doing that to this one just wasn't planning on it now but i guess i'm gonna do that now so you'll also get to see that upgrade on this airplane as well all right, well, every time I come in this place and I open this thing, there's another $2,000. It just goes poof. So yeah, welcome to the journey of bankruptcy. I hope it's fun for you. Six. Try to take this thing off and watch. It will, oh yeah, look. Here, ready? Huge shout out to Kevin. Thank you so much for sending me the right plugs that fit. These were the 99 cent specials I told you about that did not work. You can see they are just too small, too loose. Apparently inch and a half doesn't mean inch and a half. So Kevin sent me the link to the correct ones on Amazon. I'll put that link below. They're about $11 and some change I think is what I paid. And these go in really really good yeah that's not going anywhere thank you kevin again send those comments and i appreciate all your help on getting this bird back in the air thank you